Hello everyone and welcome to the part 19 of this series. Today I'd like to discuss about the topic that I noticed is quite recurrent for this certification, but also for other certifications in case you'll be interested in taking one of them. I'm thinking now about AZ400, also about AZ303 or 304. So make sure you understand this concept because in my opinion, once you understand them, it's quite easy to uh, easy to identify them when you have um, a question like this during your exam day. So you are required to implement a solution in order to build each department of a specific company for the resources consumed. Of course, uh, we assume that there are different departments um, and you are given three options. Either you use Azure policies or tax to separate each department or RBAC. In this case, the right answer is tax to separate each department and let's take them one by one right now and see why the others are not okay and why this is the correct uh, answer. Azure policies, for Azure policies what you have to know is that they are used from a governance perspective so you cannot actually use them to create bills for each department. If you want an example for uh, Azure policies is uh, you can think about uh, the fact that you can restrict the deployment of uh, virtual machines for example for a specific environment. Let's say you don't want to allow users to deploy virtual machines for TST environment or you want to allow the deployment of a virtual machine only in production, let's say, or only in UAT. Of course, documentation on this topic is quite rich. You can go and um, try to understand deeper. I'm sure this will be very useful in your day-to-day -day work as well. Then we have text to separate each department. And actually, this is the right answer because actually you can use resource tags. By the way, if you're not aware of that, every almost every resources, because there are a couple of, excep uh, of exceptions where you cannot apply tags on some resources, but normally every resource has offers you the possibility to add tags. And why would you like to do that? Because actually it's easier for you to organize your resources and uh, to filter them easily and so in this case to apply billing techniques for um, for each department and I want to show you uh, in the documentation what you can see is um, so use text to organize your Azure resources so under this page the first paragraph says that says that you can apply text to your Azure resources, resource group, groups and subscriptions to logically organize them into a taxonomy. And uh, each text consists of a name and a value payer, payer. And for example, you can apply the name environment and the value production to the resources in production. So same for department. You can apply, for example, um, the name um, department and the value, it can be the value of the name of each department. And in this way, um, you can, of course, after that you can filter them and then you can apply the bill for each department. The third option here, right here, is RBAC. This again, it's not the correct answer because actually RBAC is used to control access to resources and it can be used for billing purposes. For example, you want to let users use um, a specific resource only in read-only mode or you want uh, to let a particular set of users to change the settings of a specific resources. In this case, you allow to 
that specific group a certain configuration, so a certain role uh, for that. But you cannot, as you can now uh, understand, you cannot use RBAC, so roles, if you want to build your department. So I hope this is clear enough and we'll go to the next question.